Greetings everyone. This is our series video classification using 3D CNN. It is a it is an end-to-end -end approach using deep learning in which we are going to use PyTorch, PyTorch Lightning and PyTorch video to classify videos into violence and non-violence categories. This series has six parts, but upon the request of a viewer that how to inference video from model, I am going to create another part which I haven't planned earlier. That is how we can get the inference from a single video. You can get the notebook which I am going to start from this repository Talha Anwar YouTube tutorials. You can get the link in the description. And let's start from the code. In the PPS 6 part we have seen that how we can install the PyTorch video. How we can get the path of our video into the data frame and then how we can split the data. What is the augmentation? What augmentation we have used we have to use keep in mind these are the augmentation we are also going to use in our single video inference then we have used the data loader we are not going to use the exact same data loader for our single video inference nor we are going to use any data frame or pandas after that we have defined the our model class from lightning module in which we define our architecture which is efficient net x3d xs and we have also defined our training and validation step and the and the data loaders. We have also loaded the test set, which is actually the validation data frame in this case, and how we can get the classification report from the validation data frame. After that, I have trained the model for 15 epochs, and now I am going to fit the model again. You can notice that previously I haven't passed this CKPT path argument. The reason is that when I was training the model previously. When I was creating these series, these videos, then I have defined the checkpoint callback which saved the last checkpoint. So now I can resume from the last checkpoint. Actually, the last checkpoint is saved on 15th epoch, so there is no more training. So this is just a good trick to load your weights again without training the model again. Then I am going to validate the model and test the model. You can now see the results are quite different. This is actually 100% accuracy. Previously, I believe there are around 90. Maybe the reason is that now there is some data leakage on our model. If we go to the train test split, we can see that we haven't defined the random seed because as we haven't defined the random seed, every time we run this cell, the training data frame and validation data frame are different. Now, previously when I ran the this cell I split the training I split the data frame into training data frame and validation data frame. But today when I'm going to run this again, there are chances that training data frame, some part of the training data frame get into mixed into the validation data frame and some part of validation data frame get mixed into the training data frame. This this is because of this leakage we are getting very high results. But you can fix this issue yourself. Our purpose of this part is to understand how we can get the prediction from a single video. For this purpose, I'm going to import a function from PyTorch video. I'm going to import encoded video from PyTorch video. Now I'm going to use this encoded video. Now I have to pass the path of my video. Let me print the validation data frame here. So I can get the path from this data frame. Okay, if I get the path that is non-violence and I can pass this path here and I can load this video into my video variable. The next thing I have to get the starting and ending clip like my video can be 10 second long, 20 second long, 15 second long but if you can see the training data loader that we have defined the length as 2 seconds so I need to have 2 second video I can start from any point let's say 0 to 2, 2 to 4, 4 to 8, 3 to 5 depend upon the length of my video so let's start from 0 The 0 is the starting point and the 2 is the ending point. So it is 0 to 2 seconds. Then I have to apply the transformation on my video data. Let's make this variable as video data. Now let's apply the transformation on this video data. So 
check the shape of this video data variable okay it says that dictionary object has no attribute shape uh, because this is a dictionary we have to pass this video key into this dictionary okay the shape is 320 224 into 224 now I have to pass this to my model first I am going to convert my model from CPU to GPU by passing CUDA and then I have to do the same with my very input variable let create a variable called inputs and pass this video data to the assign this video data to this variable and I'm also going to pass to this to the CUDA now there is one thing missing we need to have a batch size dimension I can also create it using numpy before converting it into CUDA using numpy.expand dimension or I can use torch.unsqueeze for that purpose the dimension at which I want to add an extra dimension is the zero so I am going to add zero here now let me check the shape it should be 1 comma 3 comma 20 comma 224 comma 224 now I have to pass this inputs variable to my model so I am defining pretty equal to model and I am going to pass this input variable here after that I have to move this the prediction from GPU from CUDA to CPU so I'm going to use it dot detach dot CPU and I'm also going to convert it from tensor to numpy once I have converted my prediction from CUDA to numpy I have to let I can print it here it is minus 11 so I can define it as prediction equal to numpy dot where where predictions are greater than 0 0.5 make them as when and if they are less than 0 0.5 make them as 0 it says that prediction are greater than 0 0.5 make them as 1 if they are less than 0 0.5 make them as 0 so I'm going to predict, predict this print this again so you can see that now the value is 0 it is a list of lists so I can try something like So this is the zeroth class and if I can check this is the zeroth class. Let me pass the violence class and I am going to do repeat these steps again. Now I will see the prediction is 1. So this is how you can get the prediction from for a single video. I hope you like this series. So there are now 7 part. Let's enjoy the series and you can watch the rest of the videos on my channel that is Talha Anwar. Thank you. Have a good time. Goodbye.